Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a brand new product from our friends at Netview called the Bird Fee, and it's sort of a digital bird feeder. Now you're probably wondering what I'm doing talking about a bird feeder because I'm a technology channel, but I like birds. We have a lot of bird houses in the backyard and bird feeders, and I live in the Northeast, so we get a lot of different types of birds that come through all summer, the winter, even in the springtime. So we're always watching the birds in the backyard. And I love technology, so anything that runs on electrons, I can't wait to talk about and I love looking for new technology that's breaking some barriers. Well this product has both. It's a bird feeder and it's got a lot of high tech built in so it's the perfect combination for me. Now before I get too deep into the review of what this product provides, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit and that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll explain why I'm so jazzed about this product because it's got a lot of high tech in it, it's got a lot of bird stuff in it, and it's the perfect combination. And then I'll actually take a closer look at the unit and I'll show you how to assemble it because when you open up the box everything is sort of in pieces, you snap a few things together and you can mount it immediately, load some bird seed up and just have a lot of fun with it. And then I'll show you some of the birds that we've caught in the backyard with the camera inside the unit. That's right, I said camera inside the unit, so you can see where this is going. And then at the end, I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this particular product, because it seems like this is gonna become a big category for a lot of the home automation companies and a lot of camera companies that have started looking at technology like this to release to the public. So I'll give you a few things to keep in mind if you're in the market for something like this so you can compare it to others that may be out there. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a lot of stuff. You'll find the main unit right here, and you'll notice there's a camera in the front, and it's based on Wi-Fi, and I'll get into that in a minute. There's a hood that goes on the top of it. You snap that on the top, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and that protects the bird seed from squirrels and other things getting in there, but then the bird seed falls down the front, and there's a collection plate down the bottom where the birds can stand on this, on the front of it, and actually eat the seed. Also included, in some of the kits is a solar panel. Now this product is sold a couple of different ways. You can buy just the camera, and I'll explain why that's kind of cool in a minute. You can buy the bird feeder with the camera, or you can buy the bird feeder, the camera, and a solar panel as part of a kit. And that's the kit that I have here. The solar panel will provide free energy for the camera inside that bird feeder. You never have to worry about swapping batteries, or in this case, charging it up because it's based on internal batteries. Place this somewhere near the bird feeder, mount this, the sun will shine on that solar panel, it'll drink the electrons in, convert them to electrons, send it to the battery inside there, and actually charge it. So you never have to worry about it, which means you can mount it anywhere in your yard. Also included is a lot of different mounting options, and I think that's really clever that they thought this through. So the main mounting unit is right here, and you'll simply bolt this to your house, and they even give you a little diagram to show you where the holes need to be. And if you mount it there, the bird feeder sits on the top of it. But in addition to that, they also give you a tripod mount. So you can snap this on the bird feeder on the bottom. And if you just want to set it up in your yard to see how it's going to do in a certain location, set it up on a tripod. If it does really well there, find a tree and mount it to that tree. They also include Velcro straps. Now, the Velcro straps are great because you don't want to drill too many holes into a tree because you can kill the tree. If you drill a hole and leave it uncovered, uh, bugs can get in there. All kinds of infections can set in on that tree and you don't want to destroy the tree. So I like the Velcro straps because it allows me to strap it to a tree, maybe keep it up for the summertime, take it down in the winters and not have to worry about the holes in the tree. They also include a lot of mounting hardware, which I think is really great. There's a couple of sleeves there and a couple of long screws. This thing's a little bit heavy, so you want to make sure you mount it very securely to whatever surface you want to mount it to. In addition to that, they give you a charging cable, which is a standard USB-A to micro USB, and that's how you'll charge the camera. Is that micro? Maybe a USB-C. I'll have to check that when I take a closer look. I don't have my glasses on, but it's either a micro USB or a USB-C. But anyway, the cables in the kit, you'll plug this end into a standard USB charger. The other end plugs into the camera and you're set to go. Also included, like I'd mentioned, is the bird stand that pops on the front of it and the hood that pops on the top of it. And finally, an instruction manual that explains everything you'll need to know about the product so you know how to use it, know how to assemble it, how to mount it, all the important things that you're going to want to know to use this product properly. So let's talk a little bit about the product because it seems like Rick's getting way excited about something that seems pretty simple on the surface. Well, it kind of is. It's a bird feeder. Now that would be cool, but I wouldn't be doing a review of it if it was just a bird feeder. It's got a camera in it. So you're already thinking, boy, that's kind of neat. I got a bird feeder with a camera right in the front there that's going to take pictures of the birds. But they take it a step further because NetView's been in the business of home automation, home cameras, security cameras for a long time. And what they've done is built a camera in that delivers 1080p video. It's got a really wide field of view, 135 degrees field of view, so it's gonna catch any bird that's near that bird feeder. In addition to that, it has night vision, 
It is two-way audio, so you can listen to the birds if you like. My wife loves listening to birds. You can actually talk to the birds. Now, you wouldn't talk to the birds, but squirrels are going to want to get up here. So if you open up the camera and there's a big squirrel up there eating all the bird seed, you can actually yell at the squirrel to chase them away. You also have a light and a siren. So if the squirrel doesn't listen to you and he hangs in there because squirrels can be pretty tenacious, they're going to eat all the food, you can turn the siren on, you can flash the lights, you can do a lot of stuff to scare those squirrels away. So that's built in. In addition to that, the camera itself can record internally to an SD card or it can record to the cloud. So anytime there's movement, it's going to turn on and start recording. You can also, through the application, look at that camera anytime you want. So if you've got it set up in the backyard and you're thinking, boy, I wonder if there's any birds at the bird feeder, just open up the application on your phone and boom, you got a shot at the camera. You can see exactly what's going on back there. That would be cool enough. But the next step that NetView took was they built artificial intelligence into the software. And what I mean by that, and this is what got me so excited about it, is the camera will not only recognize movement, but it'll draw a wireframe around the bird and identify the bird. It'll actually look into a database that's on the unit of 6,000 plus different species of birds, and it can quickly let you know there's a bird in the bird feeder, identify the bird, and send you a text to say, hey, you've got a blue jay in your bird feeder, and there's a picture of it. So if you're a bird fan, it's a great way to keep track of what's coming through your bird feeder. Now, to be fair, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm going to put it on the backyard. I'm not expecting it's going to be 100% on that identification. I'm sure that the database is complicated. They're constantly improving it. You know, every day they're working on new bird types and better analysis of the birds. But I love the fact that we're seeing sort of a convergence of technology here. You've got the bird feeder, which is as old as time, but you've got a camera, which is great because all my bird feeders have a camera near them so we can see what's going on. But the camera will identify motion, snap a picture, and then identify that bird using artificial intelligence. So it's almost like something NASA would put together if they were in the business of building bird feeders. So I, I like it a lot from a concept and I'm gonna test it like crazy because like I mentioned, we got a lot of bird feeders in the backyard. This is the first bionic bird feeder I've ever tested. So I can't wait to get it set up. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'm gonna do is take a closer look at the unit. I'll show you how to snap it together uh, just so you understand exactly what the parts and pieces are. And then I'm gonna take it outside and actually install it. And I'll try to capture some video to show you what kind of birds are in the backyard. Now, here in New Jersey, it's kind of the end of the summer, so we're heading into winter. There aren't as many birds around, or at least as many different birds around, but I'll capture some pretty good pictures of the birds. And then I'll come back at the end, and again, point out a few things that I really like about this product that you can use to compare it to others that are on the market in case you're looking for something like this for your own backyard. So stay tuned for the closer look next. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to assemble the product, but I'd like to start with a closer look at the actual bird feeder itself because there's a lot of technology going on inside here, so it's important to understand what does what. So the camera's right in the center, and it can pivot a little bit down and a little bit up like that, so you can actually adjust the angle of the camera. Now, if you have it down like this, you're gonna get a good view of smaller birds that are in the bird feeder eating. If you put it all the way up like that, you'll get a good view of your backyard and see those birds fly in. Now, I like to keep it about halfway, right about there, because I'll get a great view of the birds in the feeder and on that front ledge, as well as birds swooping in to actually sit on that front ledge, so I like that a lot. Now, the camera itself is pretty sophisticated. It's got a 1080p lens on the bottom, which delivers high definition color video during the day. It also has night vision built in. There's an infrared illuminator right there. And what that does is during the evenings, it'll cast infrared light out in this direction to actually illuminate the scene to get really crisp images at night. There's a light over here you can use to scare them away. It's a strobe light, so if you've got a squirrel on there, you can turn that on and scare the squirrels away. There's also a siren inside you can turn on and chase away those pesky squirrels because they're going to want to get at the bird feed. And you also have two-way audio built in, so you can listen to the birds during the day, which is a wonderful thing. You can also talk to the squirrels to yell at them to get away from it, or even talk to the birds if you like. You can do whatever you want, so two-way audio. Above it is an infrared window, and that's where the motion's detected. So this looks for any motion in the front of it, and it's got a 135 degree field of view. So you're gonna see birds way out here and way out here on this side coming in from the sides. So it gives you a lot of attention for that motion. Now on the rear of the unit, you'll notice an antenna right here. This is the Wi-Fi connection to your home. You'll wanna keep that in the vertical position just like that for the best reception. And below that, you'll notice a little grommet right there. If you open that up, there's a USB-C port right there. And that's used for charging the unit from the solar panel. So if you're using the solar panel, you'll plug it in right there, and that'll seal it up against the weather. If you're not using a solar panel, make sure you keep this closed. And when you need to recharge the camera, just bring it in the house, connect up that cable to a USB charger, and you can recharge the camera. And again, the camera's got wiring inside from this connection to the camera, so all you have to do is plug in there to charge it. Now, on the top of the camera, 
you'll find another rubber grommet right there. And behind that is a lot of things. Let me pull that open. Okay, so you'll see another connection right there. That's a USB-C connection. You can charge it there as well if you want. There's a micro SD card in the front uh, slot, I should say, and that's where the micro SD card goes. Now you can upload these to your phone as well, the photos and video, but if you have an SD card and then it will record it right to that SD card, you can pop that out and go view them on your computer. There's a reset and re button right there. So when you tap that, it'll actually start trying to connect up to the application. So the only time you'll have to hit that is the first time you add it to the application. And to the left of that, is a reset button right there. So if you need to reset the camera to factory settings, you can use a small paper clip, put it through the hole, but be really gentle and push that button, it'll reset the camera. Make sure you close this nice and tight because that makes it weatherproof. You don't wanna have any water coming down through the top and getting in through that hole. The feed goes behind it here. It's a 1.1 liter uh, container, so it holds a lot of feed. It'll spill out the bottom and sort of distribute itself down here. But don't worry because if it's back here, the birds will get at it. I've, I've watched them go pretty far underneath here to get at the feed. Now in the front of the unit, you'll notice a little gap right here with a screw, I uh, should say a threaded shaft in the front of it. That's where the actual attachment goes, this unit goes, and it's really easy to put it on there. You're just gonna basically slide it in that slot like that, make sure it's fully seated all the way back, and you'll see that it's nice and smooth here along the top. Then you'll use this little knob that came with it, and you'll screw that in the hole, and just finger tighten it. Don't crank down on this, you don't need to really drive this thing home, just enough so the shelf stays where it is. I like to line it up like that to make it nice and neat. And that's the shelf, and you can see now that the birds can sit on that shelf, even if they're big birds, and they can get at that they can get at that feed down the bottom there. And the smaller birds can sit in here and start eating, or if they're smaller, they can be on there and get at the feed, so pretty cool. Now the bracket itself uh, attaches on the bottom. So here's the bracket. You're gonna mount that on the wall like this, right? So it's mounted on the wall, uh, I guess horizontally here. This is gonna slide in from this end like that. So you'll slide this in. I'm not gonna do it because it really it really locks in there. But when that's fully in, this hole will line up, this hole will line up with this piece right here and it snaps in. And that keeps it from pivoting side to side or pulling out the end. So it's never gonna come off that bracket. And again, you have the option to use the uh, tripod mount as well. So you can go tripod or you can go with this bracket. This is the one you're probably gonna use because it's, it's what's permanently gonna mount it to a tree or your back deck or a railing or whatever you're gonna mount this uh, bird feeder on. All right, so the final thing you have to do is the top. And this is a little bit tricky. There are two slits right here on either side and there are two sort of protrusions right here that fit into those slits. Now the reason it's tricky is because the only way you can get this on is in the down position like this because these are keyed. You can see that they're, they're oblong like that. So you wanna line this up with those two slots on the top and then just gently, and again, I stress that word gently, <laughs> you wanna gently slide it down like that, click it in, then you'll see the top can close and there's a latch in the back right here that that matches up with. So it locks up like that. And that keeps the squirrels from sort of knocking this thing open and getting inside there. Now I'm not saying if three squirrels jumped on here, they couldn't pop this thing open, but it's gonna take a really clever group of squirrels to figure out how to open this thing. So close it up when you're done feeding. If you need to fill the feeder, you just release this latch right here. This thing pivots up and you've got access to the top. You can pour all the bird seed you need in the back, close it up, make sure you click it and then you're good to go. And that's what it's gonna look like on the side of your home. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful unit. It really gives you uh, protection for the camera, gives you protection for the feet on the bottom here so it's not gonna get wet. I mean, rain will get in this way if it's really driving, but for the most part, it's gonna keep it nice and dry. And you've got this nice little shelf on the front where the birds can sit and get at that bird feed in the back. So I think they did a great job with the design. And again, remember, they're a camera company. So designing the bird feeder in addition to the camera was a bit of a challenge for them, but I think they really hit it out of the park. As I mentioned before, the kit is available with the solar panel included, and this is the solar panel. I'd like to show you what it looks like inside the box. So it's a Type-C, which is what's gonna charge the camera, and it's a three watt solar panel, so it's gonna give you plenty of energy to recharge the batteries inside the camera. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. So when you open up the box, the first thing you'll find is an instruction manual. It's sort of a quick start guide. It's an incredibly easy product to use. You'll basically mount this thing on the side of your house, face it towards the sun. You want the sun to travel across the front of it in this direction if you can do that. So make the alignment as close as possible to the sun moving from one side to the other. Here's the solar panel. It's already got the cable connected to it. And there's a shaft on the back that's threaded and a nice long cable, it's heavy duty. And again, it's white. I like the fact that it's cosmetically matches the back of the unit with a USB-C connection on this end. This plugs into the rubber grommet on the back of the bird feeder assembly. So I'll set that guy aside. Also in the kit is a mount. 
This is what you'll actually mount to the surface that you'd like to put this on, so the side of your house or a railing. Three screws will hold it in the side. They also give you screws to mount it, so there's a couple of sleeves in there, and they actually give you, it looks like they give you four screws and <laughs> four screws and three mounts, and that's because I know for a fact you're gonna drop one of these screws in the grass and you're not gonna be able to find it, so I think they thought of that and they put an extra screw in there. So if you lose one, you got an extra one, no big deal. Then the last thing you'll have to do is attach the base, which is this. To the actual unit and that goes on right there and the way you'll do that is by taking this knob off putting the base on just like that and then sliding the knob over the top of it i dropped the base and then sliding the knob over the top of it and tightening just like that now before you tighten it all the way make sure you've got this thing positioned how you want it because once you tighten that knob you're not going to be able to move this guy very much so the tighter you get the harder it is to move this guy so make sure it's loose enough where it holds on but it allows you to position it like you'd need to you know spin it this way that way spin this up or down get that right position and then gently tighten this down but again don't use pliers on this fingers are enough to get this thing tight enough where it's not going to move on you and that's pretty much it mounts really easy the back of the uh, solar panel screws in right here just like that and tighten this up so it doesn't move on you. It's a very lightweight solar panel, so it's not like the wind's gonna whip it around on you, but you know, check it every couple of days when you first install it to make sure it's still positioned the way you want. And that's pretty much it for the solar panel kit. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few things that I really like about the Bird Feed Bird Feeder that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. The first thing I love about this product is it's a complete solution, which means once you open up the box, everything you need to get started is included, so you can put a few things together, you'll snap the hood on, snap the ledge on the front, mount it to a pole in your backyard, and just start watching the birds out there feeding from the feeder. About 30 minutes from box to actual use, I think that's a great thing. I also love the fact that they offer it in a couple of different configurations. So for example, the one I have here is a complete solution. It includes the bird feeder, the camera, and a solar panel, which means it's completely standalone. I can put it anywhere in my yard. I can mount it to a tree in the back, have the solar panel facing the sun, and just enjoy it. I don't have to worry about running power out to it. You can also buy just the camera on its own. If you've got bird feeders already, you can mount the camera near the bird feeders and you get all the benefits of the camera. You can also use it without the solar panel if you've got power or if you don't mind taking it off its stand, bringing it in the house to wash it out a little bit, add a little bit of bird seed to it while you're charging the camera. So you have a lot of different options there. I also love the fact that they offer a couple of different mounts. I can use the bracket that comes with it to mount it to a house or a pole or a tree, even with the Velcro straps, which they also include. But I also have a tripod mount because I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it in the backyard. I, I said before that birds like certain areas of the yard. They stay away from other areas near the patio. So I can put it on a tripod, move it around the backyard to find an area where the birds really like it and they feel comfortable, and then mount it to a tree there. So they're thinking of everything I'm going to do with it. The other thing that's really important when you're comparing this to other units 
is the type of camera because I've tried a lot of different cameras. I've used GoPros, I've used outdoor cameras, and they do okay. They're not great. They don't have a real good wide field of view, so I miss birds coming in from the side. Maybe they can't focus in close, which you have to do if you're trying to get a great shot of a bird. This one has everything you need to capture that perfect picture because it's high resolution, It'll record nighttime, daytime color. It's got a really wide field of view. It's 110 to 135 degrees. So you're gonna catch pretty much anything out this far on either side when the birds are flying in, which is really exciting. But it also has the motion detection. And more importantly, that motion detection is based on a small object like a bird. So it's smarter that it's not gonna you know, trigger for other things blowing by like a leaf or something else. It's gonna look for that, that bird size or that squirrel size. And then on top of it, the camera has the artificial intelligence built in where it can actually draw a wireframe of the bird. So it's, it's modeling the bird in three dimensions and comparing that to a database of 6,000 birds that it already knows about to try to figure out what kind of bird is in the bird feeder. And it's doing all that in milliseconds. So it's letting you know that there's a bird in the bird feeder it's quickly identifying that bird, snapping a picture or a video of that bird, and then sending you a note saying, hey, there's a blue jay in your bird feeder out back, and here's a beautiful picture of it that you can immediately post to your social media channels or send to your husband or your wife or your kids. If you're a bird fan like me, <laughs> that is a home run. So I love that fact. And again, it's just a simple unit to use. The cosmetics on it are perfect. It doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. A lot of, a lot of technology nowadays, just it looks like a robot in your backyard, which scares the birds, and I don't want it to look goofy on my house. So I love the fact that it's sort of subdued tones. It fits in really well with the backyard. So I think it's a complete product that I really, really like. And I think you're gonna like it as well. So if you're into birds like I am, <laughs> and if you're into technology like I am, this is the perfect marriage of the two. So I know we normally do reviews on a lot of high-tech gear, but I love when I find something that I can use that involves a lot of high technology. It's got artificial intelligence in it. <laughs> That's the best of both worlds for me. So anyway, I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.